I'm Young Jazz. I'm in Houston. I work at 97.9 in the box at night, 7 to 11. And I have this new segment on Wednesdays. It's called Women Who Winning. And I'm like, we got to get coy. Of course, uh, no more parties is turned up. So we got a whole lot to talk about. I like your H hat too. It reminds me of H Town. Thank you. Thank you. It's my holiday. Shout out to holiday. It's my, mm. my hair looks crazy. So I had to do the hair real quick. No, you're good. I like, you got bangs, right? Yeah, I got bangs. Did you cut them yourself? No, well, I actually did cut them myself, but I got them like fixed up because I cut them, <laughs> they were like too long. You should just like down here at first. You cut them that down there? Yeah, because I was scared to go too short, so I was like, it's better to cut them, you know. And then that's when I realized I'm like, all right, I want bangs. This what made this you want to do it? I don't fucking know. I'm I've been trying. To, my hair is like my biggest stress. For like, real? yeah, it 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 really is because <laughs> I try to be so different. And I try to stay, but honestly, I think I'm gonna get a wig today for the first time. Like I, I've been saying I'm never gonna get a wig, but like honestly, I woke up on some shit. Like today, I want. I think I want a wig. Wait, everybody says when you have a hair change, that means you having some drastic shit going on in your life. No, it just means that I'm tired of like. One thing about me, and I say this in the most humblest way, I'm, I feel like I'm a really big trendsetter, and you know, I, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure you like see it really clear on my Instagram. So yeah. like. So like, if I do something, Mm -hmm. I just start seeing, obviously the more my sound and my music gets better and, but overall it's the same motto. Definitely. You could definitely tell that your sound and everything is developing more and more. I had Now and Never on repeat, that album where the project was so, so dope. How did the collab with Seven and Kiana come up? Um... I made the song in Kiana signed to Republic. So shout out to Kiana. And then I, um, I, and then my A&R sent it to seven and then it was, it was up from there. Y'all didn't do a video for it, did y'all? No. Cause of COVID? Are y'all going to do one? No, uh, probably. I don't want to say no. Yeah, (laughs) probably. We'll probably do a video. Yeah. Right now, like I'm about to, I have so much, like now or never was just an EP. I've never dropped my debut album. So I'm like, yeah. So you're holding on to some fire for the- Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. All the songs that I did drop is just to, you know, remind people that I am an artist at the end of the day. I don't want to get mistaken as anything else, you know? Of course, of course. So like with a debut album for you, like what's the biggest, like- you know, like, of course, it's like a big introduction. It's the official thing. So what's like, you know, what is it going to look like for you? Is it going to be like, oh, you know? going to be big? Like I've been I've been on every festival from Rolling Loud, Lollapalooza, Day in Vegas. I mean, any festival, you name it, I've been on. And it's just straight off EPs. I've been touring off EPs and mixtapes. So it's going to feel good to actually give a body of work. Mm-hmm. And it's going to like, have like, I'll be able to tell my story. I'm dropping a documentary and people are going to be able to actually get to know me as a person. So yeah. that's live. Is the documentary already done? No, not yet. But it's in the making right now. It's in the making right now. And the shit is going to be so fire. It's going to tell you about everything. So we have a lot to learn. I mm-hmm. actually learned something about you the other day. Of course, like I don't know how, maybe there was a story or something that just came out. I don't know, but I did not know that Benzino was your dad. And so I was like, I mean, for me, I was already a fan of your music and everything. So I was just like, okay, that's cool. Extra fact. But I wonder, I was like, I have to ask her, like, I wonder for you, is it something that like, you're not really trying to like have, you know, is it like a separate, you want it to be separate, you care if people know, or is it like, it doesn't matter? I mean, at the end of the day, he's my dad. So yeah, that's what it is. You <laughs> me? Um, I just feel like, I just don't want to be labeled as nothing but Koi Lorray. Koi, you know? Like, I want to be myself. And, you know, a lot of people just, a lot of people don't know me. And when I tell my story, they're going to understand, like, it's shit ain't from no silver spoon, if that makes sense. Like, that's all I really care about is making sure people know me, who I am as a person. That's why this documentary is going to be important, because I'm going to be able to tell my story and really let people in on my personal life something I've never done before can I ask you where the documentary is gonna be at like where are we gonna be able to watch it YouTube oh yeah I don't know yet 
Yeah, shit's gonna be so viral. I'm I don't see know. it right now. Can you have a, pr- a release of it first? Can we watch it early? <laughs> yeah, as soon as I get it, I'll make sure you get a preview. I'm having it. But no, speaking of, like, so did your dad, like, did he help you actually get into music or was it you all on your own? It was me all on my own. He inspired me, of course, you know, growing mm-hmm. up in the music industry and just not really growing up in the music industry, but being around it, I would say, or just having that influence because my dad did music. And my my older brother, Ray Ray Chavo, he did music. He's still doing music now. And um, yeah. And then like Britney, Ja Rule's daughter, Ja Rule, like just growing up in that era, I guess. But I don't know. What really inspired me to do music was A Boogie. I was living on my own. I moved out when I was like 16. I was on my own, had my own crib and A Boogie had dropped uh, Don't Trust Bitches. That whole project, it was like artists. And he was talking about girls so crazy. And it was, he was speaking so much facts. I'm like, yo, I want to be able to talk about these dudes yeah. too and let them know about themselves. Like, so I did it. And that's when I made goofy ass niggas and then fuck nigga prayer. So from there, it just like went viral. Or were you always like freestyling your whole life or like, you know, you already, you already knew you had always. Skills. Yeah, always been talented, always. Always. That made you take it serious. I popped out the wound of star. Hey, that's live though. And you said you moved out at a young, young age. Like, what gave you the the courage to want to do it? Um, it was a moment in time where you know everything was gone, and by the time it was gone, I I mean before it was gone, I wasn't even old enough to understand it. So like by the time it was gone, I was old enough. Wait, what do you mean everything was gone? just everything was gone my lifestyle like fancy things nice things it just stopped happening so it just got to a point where my when my mom went her way and my dad went his way that's where you know I call myself Hannah Montana I have like the best of both worlds and that's where I got to humble myself and really understand you know life as a regular person and you know how it feels to have to pay bills and and get evicted and be hungry and not be able to just you know what I'm saying and yeah. I didn't I, it come to a point in time where I I couldn't blame nobody else you know like I used yeah. to blame my parents a lot like why the fuck I'm not living this way why I'm not living this way why are you just gonna like why you feel me why you give this life and just take it away from us but then it was just on some shit where I had to learn I had to grow up and I wanted all these nice things and the only person that was gonna get it for me obviously was me so I had to do what I had to do. The 16 is young, though. I feel like even when people move out, they be waiting until, like, later, later. 16 is super young. Nah, I had no? to. We was, we was, my mom's apartment was so small, and we was all cramped up in there. I needed my own space. I needed to get the fuck out. I worked at Dunkin' Donuts, Palermo's Bakery, A&P Supermarket. I worked at any, mm. what else? I end up, so I made my way to a saleswoman. I ended up being a saleswoman really successful in sales and I was making like 1300 every every two weeks mm-hmm. every week 700 800 cash wasn't paying taxes on it it was weird <laughs> it was weird oh, yeah like, I don't know I started I making money no I got out of there I had to provide man I had to get a car I was like to smoke weed I wanted to provide <laughs> you know smoke I wanted to buy shoes and Nikes and get fly and feel me how to pay my rent how am I yeah. supposed to pay my rent and you seem like you have a very independent personality. But like yeah. you want to do what you want to do and you're going to figure out how to do it. Yeah. Is that how it kind of was like when you got started doing music too? Yeah. I always know. I know what I want. Like I dropped out of high school and early. I ain't never finished 10th grade. But like the best thing that got me by was like common sense. And I know what I want. Mm-hmm. So that's just. Why'd you choose to stop? I had to make money I had to work and I couldn't work my sales job my sales job was from nine to seven school was from eight to three so I told my mom sign me out and she did she didn't care of course she cared my mom was like what the fuck but at the same time she couldn't do the shit that I could do for myself like it was every it was a struggle moment so she kind of like and I guess she trusted me and believed in me my mom always believed in me my mom ain't like really have to worry too much about me that's my my first tattoo says not all those who wander are lost my first tattoo i got when i was 15 
Oh, so how's your mom now? She's lit. Everybody I can only lit. imagine, like looking at yeah. you now, she's probably on a hundred. She's text. She 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 be sending. It's funny as hell. She be sending one hundred signs on my story posts. <laughs> she on, oh, she's on Instagram. Yeah, she's on Instagram. She sends me one hundred signs all day. Oh, she's live. That's live. And you have how many brothers do you have? I have five brothers. Five brothers. Okay, now we got to talk about the music and stuff, of course. So the No More Party song. Is super dope, of course. The challenge been going viral on TikTok. Did you actually come up with the dance, or did like you know how TikTok be working? People come up with the dance. No, I didn't come up with the dance. Um, I actually want to show him out. The guy who came up with the dance, he's on TikTok. Let's see him. I when I dropped the song, I it was this. When I dropped the snippet, we was doing this dance. And this oh yeah, I've seen this video. Right. <laughs> And it was the, <laughs> yeah. uh, and these guys dropped this shit. After they dropped this video, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is no. the whole dance. They made the whole dance, bro. <laughs> and how did hey. you see the video? Did it just go up, go viral, and somebody it, sent it to you? Somebody sent it to me, bro. And shout out to Kevin Mario is his name. Somebody sent it to me. And then I, and then me, me, Jermaine, and Nuna, we end up doing the dance right after that. Posted on TikTok. Everybody started doing a dance. He just started blowing up. I hit that guy up like, yo, bro, you don't understand, yo, bro. I thank you so much. Like, I can't wait to meet him. That's amazing. Nah, TikTok really be going up and all these challenges and stuff. I see you be doing the challenges and everything too, but TikTok is live. At first I was like, damn, like, I don't want to get on no new app. Like, oh, this, this is too much, but now I'm finally TikTok game. It took me a uh, minute. Yeah, me too, me too. It's hard. You gotta like get used to it. It's just like, I gotta figure out how to like edit it and stuff. Like the edit, the whole editing part is a little. That's what it was too. It was a lot for me. But when you make something on there, it comes out pretty dope. That's the good thing about TikTok. So what's the rest of the year looking like for you? Got any big plans for 2021? Oh yeah, we about to drop this Dirk remix next week. And then we are gonna drop the video to no more parties. And then we got this Nav record and this Tiger record that's gonna go fucking ape. And I have all these other singles for myself that's like, it's my year. And this isn't even, this isn't even what's gonna be on the debut album? Oh yeah, this debut. Oh, so this that, debut? Eh, it's possible, this, these could be on the debut album, but I have so much hot shit right now, like. Like hundreds of songs in the vault or like a hundred? Hundreds. I got so much hot shit. Like you don't understand. It's 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 so much coming this year. So we much. need it. I'm ready. Do you have a date for the album? I have no date. But so why? Like, it's too soon. <laughs> it's not too soon. Every this is the perfect time. Everybody's doing the challenge. You're on fire right now. You at least gotta. Well, you're coming out with the remix. Okay, I feel remix. it. You about to do the remix. You about to do the remix. Drop the video. You feel me? Yeah. Got some surprise guests in the video. It's about to be lit. What? Oh, do you have any shows planned for the, this year? I don't know, like little ones? Little ones here and there. It's like little bookings oh, and stuff. But nothing crazy. I think we're going, Rolling Loud Portugal never got canceled. So hopefully, um, I look forward to that. Is it in October? I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah. I know other countries are open up though. Like Earth Gang, I think I interviewed them and they performed in New Zealand for New Year's. And I'm just like, yo, if you gotta leave the country to do it, you gotta do it. But I think they make them quarantine in a hotel for like two weeks straight. They couldn't go nowhere. Would you do that if you if you had the opportunity to like, you know, if you can still go yeah. to I'll quarantine. Do I'll quarantine. I heard you gotta like go there, quarantine, and then perform, but I'll do that. Hey, that's like wild. a vacation. Yeah, for sure. And last time you were in Houston, I missed you. I think you were at the club. I don't know what club. I was. love Houston. Let me tell you something. Like you are beautiful. It's just so crazy. I don't know what the fuck they got out there. It's what's in the air, but the women in Houston are gorgeous. Yes, and thick. Like, yeah, I don't understand what the fuck is in the air yet with y'all. With y'all is beautiful, and I love it. Did you go it. to the strip club in Houston? I, I've been to a strip club in Houston. I've been to a strip club in Houston. Malo, Malo, uh, I don't know. You know Malo? Mm, I don't think so. Book, book by Malo. Oh, Molo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. like that's my heart. That's yeah. <laughs> when I come to Houston, I make sure I check in for show with her, and she always makes sure we have a good time. 
success live next time definitely we're gonna have to link up when you come to Houston. Oh, we linking up for sure i can't wait to come to houston because girl please come back it, hopefully we can get you to perform whenever we start having concerts and stuff again to the radio station yes that would be dope oh, but yeah. That's pretty much it. I can let you go now. You know, I see you chilling over there. I actually have to go take a COVID test right now. I'm going out of town. I'm going to Puerto Rico. Have you ever been? No, I haven't. I'm Puerto Rican now. Oh, shit. Have you never been? No, I got to go. You like Puerto Rican food? I love Puerto Rican food. I'm a Spanish. I love Spanish food. Japanese. What's the food like? Amazing. Is it is it a lot of meat? I turned like pescatarian last oh. year. So I only eat seafood. Well, it's okay. They got, yeah, they got seafood with the, with the Spanish sauce and the rice. Oh, I can't wait for that. Oh, wait, wait. My last, last question. Valentine's Day is coming up. Do you have any plans, boy? What's going on? I saw I your last have, post about I don't have a Valentine. I don't have a Valentine. You don't want one? Um, I would like one, but if I don't have one, I ain't sure, man. I feel like a one date, like for that one Valentine's night is better. Like people be trying to get like super cuffed for Valentine's and like, that's dead. Like you can't be faking it all throughout February just because Valentine's Day. You know right, I mean? right, right. I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see. What know. would be your? It looks like you. I see. I can tell you got a. You got a situation. You got a situation. I don't situation. have no situation. I really don't. All the situ, all situations. <laughs> dead. Possible. Everything Everybody dead. has some holes on the deck. I don't have no like, situations. Everything dead. I'm telling you, everything dead. What would be your ideal Valentine's Day? Me. If you situation or not Valentine's day a good valentine's day for me would be me getting my ass rubbed on the beach <laughs> with a mimosa <laughs> hey, that's what i'm you trying to do a little booty cheek rub you know what i'm saying some flowers nice, nice little okay now you got me i'm like okay now i gotta figure out what i'm gonna yeah, do some, some designer you know what i'm saying some sbs like i don't have some drip i don't have the drip for sure yeah. have you seen the the valentine's day courses that are coming out yeah i've tried i've been trying to look for i tried to look for those to go with my sweatsuit the other day but i couldn't find it they're fine i think they come out the 13th but that's it Koi. i mean thank you so much for like taking the time out tonight we're gonna play no more parties um at like nine o'clock on 97.9 so you can listen on the app or the website or you can tell all your fans to listen whatever you like and then i'm gonna run some of the interview too back tonight all righty thank you so much for your time i appreciate it i will see you when you come to you. the eight next time yes i'll see you later all right bye, -bye. bye